Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn about international relations. Today's lecture is going to be awesome because we're going to be looking at the McDonald's peace theory. And that might lead you to ask the question, what on earth am I talking about? What is this McDonald's peace theory nonsense? Well, the McDonald's peace theory is what it seems it would be. It says that countries with McDonald's restaurants tend not to fight other countries with McDonald's restaurants. And this originates from a 1996 New York Times article by Thomas Friedman. And actually, Friedman was a little bit stronger in the article. He said that McDonald's countries never, ever, ever, ever fight other McDonald's countries. And if this peace theory is true, we're in great shape. Take a look at this map. This is a map of the countries of the world based off of when they got their first McDonald's in them. And if you're worried about the United States fighting another war, you're pretty much limited to wars in Africa and wars in the Middle East, because just about every other place in the world has a McDonald's in it. Are you worried about a war with China? Not going to happen. Worried about a war with Russia? Not going to happen. Do you think India and Pakistan are going to go to war with one another? Not going to happen. Everywhere there are McDonald's, and McDonald's just keep going to new places, and eventually McDonald's will overwhelm Africa, overwhelm the Middle East, and everywhere we'll have a McDonald's, and we'll never fight a war ever again. And there's actually some great news about this theory. It was perfect. When Thomas Friedman wrote this article, it is actually true. No two countries with McDonald's in them had actually fought a war. Now, unfortunately, 15 years or so has passed since that article originally came out, and Georgia and Russia screwed this one up in the summer of 2008 when they went to war with one another. But nevertheless, the fact that we only have one exception to the rule is really amazing, and it, it shows you that McDonald's is actually very robust and very helpful to providing peace and promoting peace using those golden arches. All right, now time to get a little bit more serious here. We know from the last lecture that correlation doesn't imply causation. So just because we have Big Macs in the country doesn't mean the Big Macs are actually causing the peace between those two countries. However, I do think that the presence of McDonald's is at least indicative of something and something that is a little bit interesting and something that you should think about a little bit more in depth, and that's this. Countries with McDonald's tend to be better economically developed and open to trade, right? If I'm open to trade, that's what allows McDonald's to go in and actually invest and create restaurants in my country. And so perhaps this open trade is what's causing the peace. In other words, peace is based in capitalism. Trading with one another promotes gains for both of us, and those gains for both of us are good, and that's going to keep us from fighting one another. And that's actually what we'll see when we go into the next lecture where we talk about the causal mechanism for how capitalism causes peace. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.